Hello, welcome to all to this uh, international live broadcast show powered by Grimo Frere. We are very glad to welcome you on board. I know that uh, some of you are connected uh, from North America, South America, Europe, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, Russia, Asia and Oceania. So thank you a lot to be here. We're going to talk about the uh, Pekin duck industry its new stakes, its new challenges, but as well as of all the innovation provided by Grimmelfer to answer to these new challenges. As this show is totally interactive, you can go please to klaxoon.com by opening a new window on your internet brother, uh, K-L-A-X-O-O-M.com that is appearing on your screen right now. And then you enter the code that appears on the screen, which is E R W D K. A W and by entering this code you enter in the uh, chat possibilities so then you can ask us every question you want to ask on the topic that we're gonna talk about and at the end of the show we're gonna answer to your, all your questions so feel free to ask any question. So now we're gonna uh, start the show and I'm uh, very glad to uh, welcome our two, two first guests here, uh, Yann Le Potier, CEO of Rimo Frère. Hello Yann. Hello Julian. And Eric Meunier, uh, brand new export sales manager of Grimo Frère. Hello, Eric. Hello, Julian. Eric, uh, maybe our customers uh, don't know you yet, some of them, uh, because uh, it's only six months ago that you joined uh, Grimo Frère's team. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, yourself? So, hello, everyone. I'm Eric, and I'm 25. That's true. Tw 25? I, I am okay. 25 so years. You're so young, Eric in the poultry business. Ah, so 25 years in poultry business. Yes, okay. and my duty took me in many places, in many countries around the world, and I'm so pleased to have joined the Grimo team, so nice and knowledgeable people. So I'm very, very happy to be here today. And I'm sure that you, you're really up to visit all of our customers and partners uh, since uh, the, the barriers are reopened after the COVID. So you, you, you're looking forward to visit in, everyone. Indeed, Julian. The, the COVID and the influenza have been rocking the world and the duck industry. Uh, in the meantime, however, uh, Grimaud Frère has been keeping, uh, shoving some new things. So I'm eager to resume traveling very, very soon and to meet everyone and to explain what we have achieved so far and what we are aiming at in the future, in the near future. Okay, thank you, Eric. We'll come back to you in a few minutes, but just before that, Jan, uh, can, you, can you tell us uh, how is it going about the global activity of Grimofer in this really special year of 2021? Uh, yeah, during this uh, period, since already nearly two years, we have not been able to travel much and to visit our clients, our friends, except very recently in Europe. Uh, during this period, we continued our selection work strongly to always improve our breed and we started the genomic selection, but we'll talk about that later in this show. Secondly, we, we create a new service, a web service that uh, will be also introduced at, the, at yeah. this show and launch here. And uh, at first, I would say that uh, we keep a strong team, a sales, export sales team, and I'm very glad f f with Eric to join us and to replace uh, Jerome, who has been until uh, until end of last year with us, giving a very good service to our clients and for the company as well. So I'm very glad to, for, for Eric to join us. And you mentioned two uh, major innovations uh, and uh, we'll come back in a few moments to this exciting new innovation. But first of all, uh, Eric, uh, we are going to talk about new issues of pick and duck through a topic uh, that you're going to talk about. It's right now. Eric, we are now talking about uh, the medium picking duck uh, product. Uh, what's up with this, new, with this product, uh, which is called Star 53 for Grimo Frère? Yeah, the market wants precocity and the ability to curl earlier, and that's what we are offering now. And that's it? No, of course oh. not. Uh, best FCR and lowest cost for duck carcass are also a must, but I guess uh, best is to listening to what Grimo users speak about it. 
and I guess we have something from uh, John Houston, CEO of Pippi's Ducks in, in Australia. In Australia. Okay, let's see it. My name is John Houston from Pepe's Ducks in Australia. I am the CEO and I have been with the company now for just on 25 years, which during those 25 years, a large part of that time has been involved and engaged with Grimaud with the supply of the Grimaud Star 53. Here in Australia, we have been engaged with Grimaud for many years. And the latest Grimaud Star 53 medium that we have imported has shown how much the company has improved over the years. Today, we have a product that is number one in Australia. And that comes through the genetics of the breeders uh, from the egg, the egg shell quality to the hatching quality to the mortalities. You know, at this point in time, our mortalities on our broiler farms are sitting at 2.4, which we believe is, is extremely good when we look at what takes place in the rest of the world. It is the Grimaud duck that we feel that gives us what our market wants. The demand for the Grimaud duck continues to grow here in Australia through the quality of the meat, the fat, the skin, ensures us of a great future here in Australia as we continue to supply the Grimaud duck. Other things that we have is that the hatchability of the Grimaud duck has continued to improve. Hatch on set at present, we are average, averaging about 88.6 and hatch on transfer 94.1, which we find or believe that uh, the performance is extremely good. And th that performance has continued to improve over the years. So we look forward to the future with Grimaud. One of the other exceptional um, performances of the Grimaud duck, particularly the broiler duck, it, uh, we have a, a feed conversion at present of about 2.01. And that continues to improve over the years. And what a huge savings commercially it is to our business. Uh, and uh, along with the, uh, the FCR, the feed conversion, we also have gr a good growth rate. That growth rate is, um, gives us a duck that suits our market. And particularly within the Asian community, we have had uh, major increases in business. Again, that gets back to the char characteristic of the Grimaud duck. One of the things that we find with the Grimaud duck, they are a very stable duck, strong legs, strong body. And this also in gives us a much better commercial duck than one who does not perform as well in terms of its stability on its feet. Um, and again, the uh, challenges that we have environmentally uh, the Grimaud duck fits all of the characteristics that's required, particularly here in Australia, with the environment that the environmental challenges we have. I think that any other company that would be looking at Grimaud, all I can say is I recommend them. They're a duck that uh, what we know here in Australia has outperformed every other duck. The demand tells us that by the market that we have here in Australia. And we continue to purchase Grimaud ducks and that will come far into the future because we know of the quality, the standards that Grimaud gives us, the backup and support they give us, the relationships that they have with their customers is extremely good. Wow, what a great testimony. We thank you a lot, John. That I know that you're watching us uh, right now, so we greet you a lot for this wonderful testimony. You know, it, it reminds me something. Um, a few days ago, my, my young son asked me, uh, Daddy, uh, why the Australian government can't sell uh, the purchase of uh, submarines uh, from the French army? And uh, I answered him, uh, you know, my son, um, if the uh, submarines from the French army were as good as uh, 
the French dogs from Grimofer, maybe they won't have uh, 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 cancelled the purchase. But, uh, for you know, sure. For sure. Thank you, John, again. <laughs> um, ca ca what can you add uh, and comment about the movie that we, we just, we just so, see? So, uh, I guess all is said by John in this interview. Uh, the result is that uh, Pippi's Ducks is now number one in Australia. And uh, it's a concrete uh, example of a really win-win partnership with one of, of customers. And I, I'm pretty sure that it will rise up some uh, other ideas for other partnership uh, on, uh, of viewers today. So do not hesitate, for sure. Let's move on now, Eric, to another part uh, of the product, which is a new AV Pick and Duck Star 53. Uh, well, I guess there is something else new about it now. Yes, you're right, Julien. The new AV Star 53 is AV. Okay, very good. Very above 3.5 kilos at 42 days and above 4.1 kilos at 49 days. So uh, I guess it's really AV and it's much more AV than the previous one, uh, which is a good thing. But you know, in dynamic selection, sometimes when you influence one criteria, it comes out with some trouble on the other criteria. So is it the case? Actually, absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Uh, the AV53 is robust, uh, gives high breast milk yield, and keeps mortality very low. And that's most important. Earlier this year, uh, we have made a shipment to our sister company, Grimo Vietnam, and the uh, field trials are now completed. And I guess best is to listen what uh, Nyak. CEO of Grimo Vietnam is saying about this new AV breed. Okay, let's listen to Nyak. Uh, I am Nyak, Bui Van Nyak, the CEO of uh, Grimo Vietnam company uh, in Vietnam. So we established uh, these companies uh, since uh, more than uh, 12 years ago, uh, 12 years, 13 years ago. Uh, the, lo the first location is uh, close to Ho Chi Minh, uh, 50 kilometers far from Ho Chi Minh in Dong Nai province. And today with the second one uh, in Hanoi. So we have uh, two distribu distributors from north and south to entire of the country. Uh, since uh, few years ago, we our market share in Vietnam taking something like 75-80% uh, of the market share with the Star 53 breed. And because of the stress, the chance of the market need that farmer, slaughterhouse, they need bigger breed. At that time, our competitors bring a bigger one to the market to recognize this need from the market. We change and we imported the medium line and the heavy line of Star 53 to replace our economical line before. So with the first commercial stock arrived to the market, we got a very, very satisfied information feedback from the market and we at the commercial stock level we make a super quite super cross to have a commercial stock which is a very very low mortality which give a much much better fcr compared with our previous line as well as our competitor so with the Body weight reach uh, 3.4, 3.5 kilo per bird at uh, 42, 43 days. The so earlier cure to give a much better FCR performances, which could be something around 2.0, and would make it to have a very, very good position in front of the market today. And we hope with this uh, super bridge, super line, heavy and medium line we can take again better and better the market share like what we have before the arrival of the competitor. Wow, Eric, what a breakthrough. 
Yes, and at the end, this makes us uh, back to the position we had some years ago on the Vietnamese market. That's to say we are now aiming at 75-80% of market share. Well, congratulations to the Vietnam team with NIAC uh, for the quality of your work and uh, as well for the satisfaction of the clients at the end. And uh, congratulations as well to the uh, R&D team of Grimofre, which allow the progress uh, about the picking duct that will then uh, have these performances on the, on the Vietnamese market. Well, this product part of the show uh, was very rich uh, uh, and we are going to move on now to another part of the show, uh, which I'm um, sure that uh, you, you are excited about it. It's the major innovation of Grimaud Frère. Jan, uh, an announcement was made a few days ago in the French and international press about uh, the uh, official launch, the uh, first one in the world, uh, which is the launch of the genomic selection in duck industry by Grimaud Frère. Uh, can you tell us about that? Uh, yeah, that's a major uh, information as the genomic selection tool was not used so far in duck uh, selection. And uh, Grimofra is the first company in this uh, activity to, to use this genomic selection. You know, genomic selection is not new at all uh, because it's used in cattle selection since more than 20 years. And uh, then in uh, pig selection or poultry selection as well, uh, like a layer of or chicken since uh, 10 years already. It's new for ducks, right? But for ducks so far, nobody was using it. And uh, so we started that uh, uh, with the ducks uh, recently this year. Um, and Grimofra is a leading company in duck uh, selection. And this tool is necessary for getting better, better performances and to have a duck meat as competitive or more competitive, if possible, compared with other poultry meat or even other kind of meat. So it was a, a, a necessity for Grimaud Frere or for any other selection company in ducks to, to bring this new tool for the duck industry. So it's a, it's a good news for the duck performances for customers, but as well it's a good news for the competitiveness of, of the duck, duck meat uh, against the poultry meat, in Ex the poultry meat. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you will be able to explain it all just in a few moments, but first uh, I get that we got a, a movie that explains well, uh, how does it work? Please, can you send the movie? On April 22, 2021, Grimaud Frère launched exclusively worldwide the first genomic duck selection. The following minutes will show you how Grimaud Frère Genomics allows you to go further in the selection of animals. Since its creation, traditional genetic selection has exploited genealogical links and individual zootechnical performances. It identifies the most effective subjects on defined criteria, such as good adaptation to their rearing environment, weight, or even consumption index. The breeding champions are selected and will themselves give birth to higher performing farm animals. To select the best animals, our experts use the latest available technologies, such as RFID chips, a scanner, or connected sensors. We generate very large amounts of data for each animal and each family of animals. In other words, big data. Our experts then create the algorithms to analyze this data and then predict the characteristics of the offspring of the selected animals. The genomics selection launched today by Grimaud Frère adds a vital complementary piece of information to this existing data set. Direct access to the genetic heritage of each subject. It makes it possible to assign a genomic value to each individual and thus to identify future champions from a very young age. The selection process becomes much more precise, therefore more efficient, but also much faster by playing favorably on the reduction of the generation interval. It is thus possible to increase the number of candidates initially set up and thus increase genetic progress. A tissue sample from the duck is placed on a plate, which is then isolated and DNA extracted. An SNP chip then reads 60,000 markers of the DNA sequence and thus brings an unprecedented and precise knowledge of each individual. 
This unparalleled precision allows Grimaud Frere to better understand, analyze, and thus select the molecular combinations of markers associated with the optimal performance of ducks. Selecting ducks that are naturally more resistant to diseases, with better physical composition, better food efficiency, or a higher net yield increases the performance, well-being, and health of the animals, while reducing the environmental impact of the farming. This increased progress for our customers is already underway thanks to the global launch of duck genomic breeding by Grimaud Frère. Guillaume Le Mignon has just joined us. So welcome and hello, Guillaume. Hello, Julien. Guillaume, you are a genetist for Grimaud Frère and you are specifically in charge of the implementation of the genomic selection program. Uh, can you go back over uh, the key principle of the genomic selection? Yes, of course. Uh, ge the genomic selection is very similar to uh, genetic selection programs, but we only had the um, information of molecular marker uh, well distributed on the DNA. So uh, we read this information like we can read a barcode, for example, high resolutive barcode. And uh, never, I think it's very important to well understand that, never we modify the molecule of uh, the DNA. Yeah, because some people uh, do a mix between the two. There's a l huge difference between genomic selection and gene editing, which is totally different thing. Totally different, Here yes. we are not talking about gene editing. We don't modify the genome. We only read information. Is that correct? It's exactly, yes. yes. Okay. Um, so we understand that it's mainly a purpose of a fantastic new information that you get on the duck that you don't had before. But uh, why is it so advantageous compared to a classical gene genetic selection? Uh, the genomic selection have a lot of advantage uh, because we can act on the four criteria imply in the genetic progress. First one, uh, we are more precise. So we don't speak about genetic value now, but genomic value. And secondly, we are more precise, so we can detect earlier the best animal in the population. And we can imagine, for example, increase the number of candidates to be, uh, and to, um, uh, to be more benefit on the intensity of selections. Thirdly, we can uh, select the best breeder earlier too, and we can anticipate uh, if we want a novel uh, pedigree, and we can reduce the interval of generations. And uh, to finish, we can't act on, but it's uh, easier to manage the genetic variability of each tray. So we can uh, act on the genetic progress at four level too. To okay, resume. so I understand that it's, uh, it's stronger, it's better, and it's faster. Well, stronger, better, faster. It reminds me a song of Daft Punk, right? <laughs> you know it, huh? Uh, okay, and what concretely our customers can hope about this new genomic selection? Uh, I in terms of progress. Yeah, of course. Uh, the genomic selection is very efficient, I think, for try uh, hard to measure, but or partially measure the populations uh, are expensive to measure, like uh, feed efficiency, like uh, breast muscle yield, like uh, feeding be behavior or behavior too, and uh, also is a good opportunity for try measure it late during the life of the animal, like uh, late performance. And to illustrate, for example. Yeah. Novogen uh, uses these technologies. No, Novogen, which is uh, a Grimo for sisters yeah. in the group Grimo. Novogen is a layer uh, gen genetic selection company yeah. in the layer industry. Yeah, exactly. And uh, they, they are used to, 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 to get technology. into genomic selection programs. Since uh, approximately 10 years, and okay. they describe approximately uh, of genetic gain 5 to 10 percent of, uh, of gain more. If we compare more, more, if we compare it with a genetic selection program without uh, any uh, molecular information, so ten percent more each year. Each year, each yeah. year it means that, uh, uh, like in seven years, can double the, prog the genetic progress uh, due to genetic selection, right? If you have a big variability, yes, for the for your trade, it's possible, I think. Okay, thank you a lot, Guillaume, for this explanation. No problem, it's yeah. much clearer. Thank you, Guillaume. Thank you, Jan. I've got another question uh, for you. Uh, well, let's talk about Monet. How much Grimaud Frère is investing in this new technology? Uh, genomic selection is actually quite expensive. The cost is estimated uh, approximately over 200,000 euro uh, cost per year per line, uh, okay. uh, per pedigree line. Uh, so this is uh, quite a sing significant amount. 
But like everything, it all depends on what is your benefit on, on that. And uh, the cost could be high if you don't use a good program, a uh, non-optimized program. We have the chance in the... This is a learning curve, in fact. If you in start from nothing, it's really expensive. And if, if you don't start from nothing, it's, it's not th that expensive, that you mean? Uh, for sure, it is better to start uh, from something. Okay. And uh, we have the chance in the group Grimo to have sisters company, like you mentioned, uh, Novogen in layer selection. But there is also choice genetic in peak selection. Yeah, in peak in this way, yeah. Within the Grimo group who are using this genomic uh, selection since uh, many years already. They have the knowledge, they have the people who can help us to launch a good uh, program in genomic selection. From that, we are very confident on the gain at first, because we have the experience, but we are very confident also on the profitability of this investment in genomic selection for the interest of our clients and for all the duck industry globally. Yes, and uh, uh, last question, uh, Jan. Um, when will it be available for customers on the field? Uh, the, as it was said by Guillaume or in the movie, the first uh, genomic choices, choice has been done uh, beginning of this year, by uh, April, I think. Uh, then uh, it takes an, uh, an around two years to have the first parent stock from this uh, pedigree so genomically. Right. Yeah, 2023 for the breeder supply okay. and uh, another six months to one year for the commercial stock. Uh, so let's say three years on the, for the duck industry uh, to be available on the market. Okay, thank you, Jan, and uh, congratulations, Guillaume, on the whole team working on that for this new revolution about the duck industry, which give a lot of progress in the coming years. Uh, we are going now to move on another part of the show, uh, which is another important innovation powered by Grimofair, as it is web service innovation. After having seen all the advantages of genomic selection uh, for the next Peking Duck uh, Star 53, we are now going to officially launch uh, a new platform services, which is, uh, which is called Grimofrère with you. Uh, this new services platform Grimofrère with you is designed to provide our customers with all the support they need to produce Peking Duck, uh, performance coaching, farm management, advices, diagnosis, training and information. If you want to connect to it, you can do it right now. You go to grimofrere.com and you select the English language. And I insist English language because if you select the French language, as it is not yet available in French, but only for international customers, you won't see it. So go on grimofrere.com, select English language, and then it will appear in the heading uh, and you discover the, the With You platform. Well, uh, Eric, before you go into detail about the platform, can you tell us what is the purpose of that for customers? In this inset COVID times, traveling is very, very difficult. So we need more than ever some new tools to accompany our users of Grimo Genetics. And that's what With You platform is offering at this moment and uh, because it will give access to variable and practical uh, information. And in concrete terms, what can the, our customers can expect of the platform? They can get access to technical guides to get the best out of our Grimo genetics. Uh, they can play tutorials in form of videos. Um, they are generic tutors about ventilation, water quality, biosecurity, but uh, they are also very specialized tutors, uh, like uh, how to start well a duckling flock, uh, eggs collection, but also vaccination and semination, but because it's not okay, it's all right. about picking, it's also about oh, the other muscovy industry. on mule. Okay, so it's really rich, but can you tell us uh, how many items, for example, there is in each section? Uh, we have about 20 tutors already filmed at this moment, okay. but to date you can get access to six videos on With You website. Okay, and I moment. get that it will e evolve all over the time, right? 
as time will goes by, we will add some new tutos, so you must log in to with you once in a while okay. to, to see what is uh, new coming. Okay, okay. Um, maybe what's best is to watch a little movie that explains a lot about the platform. Let's watch this movie. Marine Bonny has just joined us. Hello, Marine. Hello, Julien. Marine, you are a marketing project manager for Grimofer and you are in charge of the development and the launch of the platform. Uh, so we can say that it's a little bit like your child. Uh, so congratulations, Marine, for the launch. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Marine, can you tell us uh, which, which sections that we saw in the film, which sections are really rich, can you tell us which section will be updated the most often? Yes, um, it is basically tutorials and uh, technical articles, uh, sections where we will be adding uh, new content uh, every month. We have set up a production plan with our teams until uh, 2023 and uh, it is to meet the different expect expectations uh, from our clients to give a uh, different technical um, level of, of of content. Do, do you mean that there is different type of visitors, different type of customers on the platform and each one will access to different type of content, right? Yes, absolutely, Julien. We have first developed uh, content available to all uh, the actors of the duck industry to understand the way the platform uh, works and to become familiar with it. Okay. And our next development uh, will allow our customers to just uh, access exclusive content with a higher technical level, with uh, precise information, and even a greater uh, share of our skills, technical skills. Okay, yeah. W when I went on the platform, uh, I saw that when you scroll on, there is a lot of sections that are written coming soon. Uh, wh what does that mean? Is there a plan uh, with opening of new section in the time, or how do you do that? Exactly. As Eric said it in his introduction, the difficulties to travel uh, in the context of global pandemic has led us to uh, develop tools uh, to bring us m much more close, closer to our clients digitally. And this is why the next uh, section that we will uh, develop, uh, and uh, it is also our next uh, heading, 
uh, section, it will be remote consultation. Remote consultation, well, I, I get that it will interest our customers a lot, but can you tell us how does it work, the remote consultation on the industry? Yes, in the same way, you can just have an appointment for medical or uh, technical needs. Uh, you can, our clients will be able to just contact our Grimo Frère technical um, experts and solve and try to solve with them their uh, breeding uh, issues and have uh, advice or um, help. Okay, uh, and I get that uh, the process will be highly structured to answer to <laughs> all the different needs of our, uh, of our customers. Uh, how, do you do how do you do that? Um, we will be able to give more information about how it will work uh, when we will be able to just launch the section because we are <laughs> we are working on yeah, it. Yeah, okay. we are working, working on progress. Working yes. progress. One last word, maybe, Marine, to introduce uh, and to launch uh, the Grimo Frère with your platform. Yes, absolutely. I would like to just talk to our customers and I would like to say to you that all the content uh, has been decided for you. So if you want us to priorit prioritize any uh, of the topics, don't hesitate to uh, contact our technical or our sales team. That's to say that the customers will make the choice, the next choices of the development of the platform. So definitely, great. definitely. Okay, thank you a lot, Marine, and thank congratulations. Okay. Uh, maybe, uh, Eric, uh, I, I heard that uh, you got a, a special offer uh, to, to give to your customers by launching the platform. W w which is it? Yeah. Um, I, I would like to stress that, first of all, uh, it took us a lot of work to set up with you and uh, we believe it was worth it and uh, with you speaks for itself and this being said we decided to also offer the icing on the cake that's to say that just after this live session every one of you will be receiving an email and so that you can log in to the with you uh, platform it means cre creating an, ac an account in fact that's right. And creating an account. And f by doing this, you can get eligible for a prize. And yes. this prize is an extra 100% sorry, 100% free of charge ducklings on your next purchase. Okay, one purchase, 1% of free ducklings if our customers create their account and if they are in the 50... So only Two, two conditions yeah. to, to get this. First is to subscribe and to be among uh, the 50 first subscribers. Okay. 50. And then you have to subscribe before October the 31st. And that's it. Okay, so we've all heard, uh, heard about that. It's really simple. Just create your account on the platform and then do your purchase, and if you are in the 51st of creating your account, you get the free drug links that propose Eric. Thank you a lot, Eric, and I congrats. I just would yeah. like to add that uh, this would apply to all purchase orders that will be shipped before June, end of June 2022. Okay, so it's in ninth months, it's really easy to, to, yeah. to, to enjoy it. Okay. Thank you a lot, Eric, and congratulations to Marine and to all the team, and specifically uh, to the technical team of Grimo Frère, because it's a lot of work to, to launch and to, to, to make it uh, live on the platform uh, when we it's speaking about um, the new content that will come each month on the platform. Well, it's uh, the last part now of the show, and uh, as I told you uh, at the beginning, it's right now the time for exchanges with you, so we're going to have a look at all the questions that uh, you written just before and to answer it. Yes, uh, I'm here coming back with my computer to uh, look at the question that you've asked us. So the uh, first question is just a good luck to the Grimo team. Thank you, Uktka, uh, for the good luck. And then a question from Ari. Ari uh, is asking when the teams could visit us. Well, uh, Ari, um, I, I don't know uh, where you're from, Ari, but uh, I get that uh, our team will visit you as soon as is possible with a reopen of the of the barrier with the COVID. So don't worry about that. We'll come into you uh, as soon as possible. 
Then, maybe uh, just to contact <coughs> us, Eric, myself, or, or the contact yes, person. Yes, yes. Contact, yeah. please contact Eric and on, Yann, on and they, they will visit you uh, through plane or boat or walking out or, <laughs> or with us or anything. Um, other question from Mark. Is the AV Star 53 already available in every country? Eric, I have, I have this yes. question for you. Yes, yes, it is. It is available for shipment. From right now? From right now. Okay, very precise, perfect. Then a question of uh, Philippe Douvenot. Do you have any new requirement for the ventilation of livestock buildings for hot climate countries, especially to breed the, AV, uh, the new AV Star 53? Uh, you can try to answer in the with you platform. Uh, I don't remember if it's already available, but there will be some tuto about uh, ventilation uh, uh, aspects and uh, with some uh, recommendation, yes, done on the ventilation. Then whereas it is uh, explained on the hot climate condition, uh, I'm not uh, yet so sure, but uh, of course with uh, we, we can be in contact for further... Yeah, yeah. yeah, and from memory, there will be a second tuto for ventilation topics, but in the second time for hot climate. Ah, okay, yeah. perfect. Okay. And as, as in some months. Yes. As Marine told us before, mm. uh, if you want a specific topic to be, to, to, to be covered by uh, Grimofred, just ask it on the platform. And uh, well, we will uh, look at it and uh, send it as soon as possible. Sure. Okay, uh, then uh, Utka uh, sent us a question. The new cross of the Peking Star 53 AV keeps the same small dimorphism between males and females for commercial flock? Uh, compared with previous breeds, yes. yes, it is the same uh, dimorphism. It's just more heavy, right? Yeah, yeah. it's around 7% difference between male and female, and we keep the, the same percentage of difference uh, on, with the new lines. Okay. Uh, ah, Harry, uh, just give us some uh, specific information about where it comes from. Hello, you talk about oversexing, I know, it's other thing. Uh, yes, Harry is from Japan, okay? So I, I don't know the rules with Japan, with the borders, uh, are they open or not, but I make sure that uh, we're gonna go to Japan as soon as possible. But I got a question about, yes, it's a topic that we didn't cover in this live show. It's about oversexing, because last year in the webinar, we, we, we were launching uh, the oversexing. So Jan, can you tell us and tell our customers where oversexing is right now? Uh, over sexing for ducks is a topic we presented for the French market uh, today with the announcement that the over sexing in ducks will be available by Grim of Rare starting from second half of next year. Yeah. Uh, but it's a topic uh, of uh, over sexing specifically for Muscovy and mule duck, not with Peking duck. That's why we didn't mention that in this, uh, in this show. Uh, but it was a, a key point of the preview show we did uh, with French, our French customer uh, to make it available and uh, the Grimo will be the first one to make this technology available by middle of next year, uh, starting from middle of next year and fully available the year after on the French market. And f f first of the world as well? Uh, yes, uh, we have to. Okay, and that's, that's it for the question, but I got my own question for you. Um, well, with the uh, avian flu, uh, are, you, uh, are you able to send uh, some ducks uh, all over the world? How is it going? Uh, we are following that uh, very much with Eric uh, nearly every day. Uh, at the, from today, from beginning of this month, France is free from bird flu uh, because we have been uh, around 30 days after the last, uh, last case. So France is today free from bird flu. But there are big risks in Europe uh, and the neighbor country like Germany or, or Belgium who has case, they have case of bird flu. So the, the government, French government is pushing to reopening some country for export like Philippines. I know we have a friend from Philippines connected, Korea, etc. Several countries we are still closed, but we that we hope to open very soon. Uh, uh, before a new outbreak that okay. hopefully will not so come this year. For the moment, most of them are open and a few are not open, but yeah. we are looking at it each time, each day to, to see it reopen. Okay. Yeah, we have regular contact with our ministry and uh, Eric mainly actually, but uh, to, to follow that and to uh, 
communicate with the, the other government for officially opening the, the import from France. Okay, very clear. Uh, as I don't see any other question, well, I guess this will be the, this will be the time to conclude. But before, uh, we, we just want to remind you the four key messages that we saw today during the show. First of all, it's uh, the progress of the medium star, medium picking duck star 53, and as well of the heavy uh, picking duck star 53, and the data appears on your screen. So this is the first and the second news. The third news is the launch of the first dynamic duck selection in the world by Grimofoy that we saw today, and we talk about today. And the fourth, uh, uh, the last but not the least news, it's the launch of the Grimofoy With You platform, which will give you new kind of support, remote support, uh, to help you with your duck management. Uh, and it's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it is the first time that uh, I see that uh, for the duck industry, so it's a really important news uh, today. Well, it's time to conclude. Uh, thank you a lot, Eric. Uh, thank you, Jean. Thank you a lot, Jan. Thank you, yeah, and uh, I just want to say uh, thank you to all our attendees, uh, uh, either from Australia, North America. We have also some guests from Brazil or Korea, uh, Vietnam, Israel, and many other neighbor countries uh, in Europe. So thanks to all attendees, it was very nice to be quite near to them. <laughs> and um, a speci special, special thank you to uh, John Houston and uh, to Nyak, uh, who did the, the, the videos and the, the interview that we, sh we saw. Thank you a lot. Uh, we are up to coming to you uh, as soon as possible. Thank you for being here. Uh, well, see you next time. <laughs>